So if I if I say something like um, if I say that like necessarily there couldn't because there's nothing like Allah, then like everything he described with uh, is 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 unlike that you know which that that is w- w- within creation. And that I couldn't say that his nuzul, for example, is like me coming down from like, um, I don't know, the, 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 the higher floor within my house, a top level within my house to a lower level, or that uh, um, um, he, he uh, uh, moves from the harsh or all that stuff. And that he, 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 he has a haraka, an intiqal, like, like me moving from, from, from this place to that place. If I say that, am I uh, against the theology of Ibn Taymiyyah? Are you asking me the question? If you yes. were to say what you just said? Yes. So there's a har- you're like what you're saying that you affirm haraka. If I'm saying that Allah, like, if, I, if I'm saying that I couldn't say of Allah that about his nuzul, for example, that it's tarruk uh, and intiqal, like me coming down from the higher floor, a higher floor in a building to a lower floor or in a house or whatever, or uh, um, or that you know. Uh, um, the way I get off my bed and becomes empty, or, or the way I get onto my bed, and uh, the way we move. Like I couldn't uh, say that Allah's nuzul is haraka and intiqal, and I have to do complete t- tanzih of him from these creaturely aspects. Am I in line with the theology of Ibn Taymiyyah? I don't believe so. Well, Sheikh, I was just literally translating from Ibn Taymiyyah's work. The English words that I was speaking were literal translations of what Ibn Taymiyyah said in Majmu al-Fatawa. 